delicious light starter earlier. Now we're turning your attention to the main event. Oh, yes, Lizzie Lyons from Lizzie's Little Kitchen in Listowel has stayed with us. What's going on now, Lizzie? We're going to make a homemade gnocchi. Gnocchi, lovely. Yes, um, so the first thing we're going to do is we have some potatoes here and you'll see that we have some salt underneath. Um, we're going to put those into the oven at 180. The salt will draw the moisture out of the potato and we'll have a really, really nice dry potato and that's what you need for a gnocchi, all right? Dry spuds are key for gnocchi, yeah? Yeah, mm, okay. dry spuds. We were chatting about them during the break, Lizzie. Simon's not a huge fan, really? Yeah, no, I, find that I can find them a little bit bland. It depends on the sauce that's made. Uh, with it, um, yeah. But yeah, I wouldn't be a huge gnocchi fan. But I, I'm here to be converted, Lizzie. Yeah, they're like a couscous. You know, they're bland. You can do. It's all in the sauce. It's all in the sauce. It's all, yeah. it's all in the cook. Oh, okay. of course, it's all about yeah. the chef. Lizzie's going to change your tune. So long no, as you cook them no for No stress Lizzie. here. Um, they were on for about 45 to an hour. Okay. Nice okay. and dry. Um, so, a lot of people at home don't have uh, rice. Potato rice. Potato yeah, yeah. rice, you're right. So this is right. Um, so this is the best way to do it if you don't have one. You can get just a general sieve at home. Okay. And look, just push your potato through. And you've let them cool down, have you, before you're doing this, Lizzie? No, or? they're still warm. Still These hot. are just yeah, right. after okay, coming out, but you good. need to do this hot. Ah, right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So you'll see, you need to get a nice little, see how they're lovely and fluffy? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. And they're lovely and dry because lovely of the Lovely and dry, exactly. So there we go. If I had to do all of them, we'd be here for the day. We yes. would, yeah. Okay. And you wouldn't be happy. So for the purposes of live telly. <laughs> yeah, so these are ones. bigger bowl. This is one that I've done earlier. Okay. So we'll just get a little bit of salt and pepper into it. A staple of the Italian mm -hmm. uh, table at this, isn't it? Yeah. Is a bone of contention for all of them. Really, yeah. Yeah, they all argue about how From many... region to region, they all have exactly. different cups. Yeah, yeah. And served. Yeah, and should ricotta go into it, should ricotta not go into it. Yeah. So we've got our potato in here. I'm going to add in some flour. Okay. And um, some egg. Okay. Just plain flour, Lizzie, yeah. Plain flour. You need to, if you can, get a really fine flour, because okay. obviously it'll make them nice uh, light. lighter and fluffier then. And then we're just going to bring it together. I do and remember doing a cookery course in uh, north of Rome and the first job they had us do was making yaki. And I thought, well, I've travelled nearly a thousand miles and I'm peeling potatoes. Brilliant. So I'm going to learn about Italian <laughs> cooking. Yeah. But yeah. this is a, a staple. This is very, 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 very traditionally yeah. an Italian dish. Um, really, f you know, real thrifty again. Like if exactly, you have a big yeah, family, yeah. It, it, there's a bit of effort that goes into it, but it's very easy. It's it not goes difficult. A long way. It goes a long, long way. So we're just bringing this together. Okay. No. Bit of elbow grease going on there, Lizzie. Yeah, um, you have to be kind of nice and gentle with it because uh, you don't want to work the gluten in the flour too much. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a little bit of flour. We're going to pat it out. Okay. Are you going to cut them or just shape them? No. Um, we're going to shape it into a rectangle. Okay. We're going to cut. So you cut it down it. into strips? Strips. And then we're going to cut into gnocchi. Sizes? Okay. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. And what sauce is it traditionally served with? It's traditionally served with a tomato sauce, or they can do it quite plain as well, maybe yeah. with a little bit of butter and... Um, Olive oil and chilli. Exactly, yeah. And now, I'm just going to show you quickly how to shape it. So there's loads of contention about how to shape <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. Mine is really simple. Okay. Life is difficult enough. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yes, so I like your attitude, Lizzie. Yeah, so what we're going to do is a little bit of flour onto this. Oh, that's it. And that's what I do. And the sauce will go into that little hole. Oh, then. That's nice. what you yeah, want. Clever, All right. Clever. So, the next so you're making a hole with your finger on one side. And score we'll just on the back. Do and score on the back of yeah. the fork. So right. we're just going to do a little roll there again. Yeah. Onto the back of the fork. And there that's you press your finger in. All okay. right. Okay. So Great. we're getting onto our sauce. So. Onion. Garlic. Garlic. We're going to sweat those off for a little while. About uh, maybe four minutes. We're not browning them. Okay. When that's done, we're going to add in some tomato. Okay. Just chopped tomatoes. Yeah. A little bit of water. And then when all that has reduced down, we're going to add in our lovely mozzarella. Mozzarella, oh, nice. Yeah. Little baby yeah. mozzarellas. Look at them. Yeah. Lovely. And some basil. Basil. Just some boar, boar, torn basil. Torn basil, torn. yeah. Over it. Lovely. And then the next thing we're going to do is we have. Um, it smells so good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. We have um, a pot of boiling salted water on. 
Okay. And we're going to drop our gnocchi in. Okay. And I've put these in beforehand. Yeah. Drop it in, give it a swirl, okay. and wait for it to rise up to the top like I've just here too. Yeah. Keep an eye on it. When it's risen to the top, count for like 15 to 20 seconds and then it's cooked. Right. And then what we're going to do so is... it's very quick. Cooking. Yeah, really fast. And you really don't want to overcook it, Lizzie? No, you don't. So that's risen. So then yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to take it out. Very good. Did you ever see so many uses for a sieve? <laughs> I know, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. The sieve is multitasking here today. It really is working hard for yeah. you, Lizzie. It's called improvising. When you yeah, forget exactly. A, yeah, when yeah. you forget a slotted spoon. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're going to Think get them in. Think it on your feet, Lizzie. Going to get them in. This is our lovely sauce. Now, I need to show you this. So this is what the sauce finishes oh, up like. Look how chunky yeah. that is. Look. Mm, nice. And I didn't blitz up the sauce. sauce. I left it nice and um, chunky, as you said. Rustic. Rustic. Lovely mozzarella. It's kind of more hearty that way, though, isn't oh, it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now we're is going... this on the menu in the kitchen, Lizzie? Uh, we have it on our tapas nights. Okay. And we're going to have it on in the, our new little place in Ballybunion. We opened another um, bigger restaurant in Ballybunion Cafe, well Eric and I, last week. Because you're not busy enough, Lizzie. No. You know what I mean? Suffering. Congratulations. Now, there we go. I'll get you some spoon to taste. Thank you there's very much. One. Two gorgeous recipes. Nice and simple, but very tasty, Lizzie. Now, there you go. Here, and you there's take this the one. other. Thank you, lovey. Thank you, Lizzie. And it smells follow. good. Gnocchi. Manja, manja. Oh. I'll read that. Don't forget all Lizzie's recipes are on our website. Her call in Twitter is stolen and tell her that really we good. sent you up next. Best selling author Liz Nugent will be here. Are you there, Liz? I'm here. Marvellous. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs>